Hey everyone, Bill Nichols here, Bill Nichols TV. Today I'm going to show you three quick tips in Lightroom for working with your workspace and metadata. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. Let's jump right into Lightroom, get into these quick tips. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you three quick tips in Lightroom. This is gonna help you with manipulating your workspace, showing some metadata that you might wanna show as a label on a photo, and just some really quick tips. So let's first jump in right here. I'm in this, um, I'm in the library mode. I'm in the grid view, so I've clicked the grid down here, and I can go into a single image or grid. And let's say that it just, you know, I'm looking around here, I have these images, and I wanna see one really quickly full screen. As I'm on an image, if I just hit F, that'll take me to a full screen preview of it. So then I can take a look at it and go, okay, maybe there's some areas, you know, I wanna see it in full screen so I can either decide what I wanna rate this image or do I wanna work on it and where are some areas that I might need some work or just really to show it full screen, maybe I'm showing a client or something like that. So they're sitting next to me and I'm going through these and really quickly I can hit F and go into full screen. Now let's go into an image like I'm working on it and I'm gonna show you another tip. So I've got this image here and maybe I find this stuff that's around here. Let's go into the develop module. So maybe the stuff that's around here is a little bit distracting to me. So if I press L, I can start toggling lights out mode and there's two degrees of it. So if I press L one time, you'll see that my tools and stuff are going to get dim, but I can still use them right now. So if I go, like if I go and I press R for crop, my crop tool will still come up and I can still use it even though you don't see it. Let's go ahead and escape out of crop. If I press L one more time, get rid of all the distractions. Now I see just the image with this white border, but I can still use my tools. So if I press R right now, I can still do cropping everything. So as long as I know the keyboard shortcuts, I can go ahead and use my tools. I press L one more time, I'm back into a regular mode. So maybe I'm in, you know, I've got spot removal and I'm going, but some of this stuff around here, you know, is distracting me. I can just press L really quick. I've still got spot removal going, you know, so I'm still using the tool. Let's undo that. And I mean, you know, maybe I'm getting rid of this rock, even though that rock is great. Get rid of it, you know, same thing. But I am in here and now I'm using the tool even though I'm in lights out mode. So two quick tips there. You can go full screen with an image when you're in library view or when you're in this view here. When you're in develop, you just press F. You're directly into full screen mode. And then you can get out of full screen mode by pressing F again. And then your lights out mode by toggling through L. It's the letter L. And one last thing, let's go back into grid view. So I'm gonna to go to library, go into grid view. You'll see right now I have the images in grid view. Let's make the thumbnails a little bit larger. All right, so I have the images here. And if I hover over, I can see anything that I've rated them. So these don't look like they've been rated. Um, I can see if they're in a collection. I can see if they have any processing with this little tag here. So as I click, you know, as I look at that, that tells me that there are some adjustments that are applied. But one thing that I can do, I can see if it's flagged up here. One thing that I can do is the metadata that's right here, I can add this and much more to any of these images so that when I'm looking at it. So if I go right above the upper left um, piece of the image frame here, so you've got the image in the little frame. So I just go right above it and I right click, you'll see all of this stuff come up. So I can go ahead and click on any of these and that's what will be added there. So if I go to say, F-stop, now you can see on every image, all these images were shot at F11. I can click that again, and let's say that I wanna to go to the camera model. See that these were shot with a Canon EOS 70 Mark II. And you can change this on both the upper. So let's go like, let's say that we have file name. Or let's say that we have camera, right? So maybe up here we have the, uh, the camera model. And then down here, Maybe we want to see the size that it is. That's it, guys. Three quick tips for Lightroom today. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, any questions, ask below. I'll have some more Lightroom stuff next week. I'm hoping that my Mavic gets here today. If so, expect a slew of videos starting next week with that and the Phantom 4 Pro Plus, hopefully at the end of next week. But uh, for all of those that are celebrating Thanksgiving, have an awesome Thanksgiving. Hope you have a great celebration. For everyone else, just have an awesome day. Have an awesome weekend. And uh, I will have something out new on Friday and then possibly over the weekend as well. So you guys, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe below. You can do it right now. Um, actually in this end screen, subscribe so that you get notifications of all the new videos. Have an awesome day. You keep watching. I'll keep making videos.